Okay. For part two of animating the bouncing ball, I'm going to quickly just take a look inside the interface. And inside this interface, we have three main windows we're going to work in. The first window is our camera view, and this is the area where we're going to see the playback of our animation. We have the timeline, and this is where we are going to set our keyframes. And we have the node view, and inside the node view, we are going to build what will become a very simple rig of nothing more than a drawing and a peg. So let's start by just quickly adding a peg and setting a pivot. What a pivot is, is, is the point in which the drawing squashes and stretches from. And there's several ways that we can set this pivot. And right now you can see by default, the pivot is in the center of the screen and I want it to be added to my ball. And where I'm gonna end up putting it is at the base of the ball. So when I do my squash and stretch of the bouncing ball, it will be located in a place where it makes it easy to squash and stretch. So the first way that we're gonna learn how to do this is in our toolbar that's called Advanced Animation. And what I'm gonna do before I um, move the pivot, I'm gonna to go to Windows, toolbars, and, and I'm going to remove that advanced animation toolbar so you can see that it's disappeared. Windows, toolbars, advanced animation, and here it is right here. And the second tool over, which is called the rotate tool, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to drag that up to the art. Now, what we can see happening is on the timeline, we have a drawing and a drawing P, which is, this is the peg level. We have a drawing here and a drawing P, which is our peg level. I could rename these if I wanted to rename the drawing. Let's call it drawing underscore ball. And this could be drawing underscore ball dash p for peg. So in this view we can rename by simply opening up either of these layer properties boxes. Whatever we name inside our layer properties name field will show up also on our timeline. 